Hey guys, we are back in the garage. Finally, I'm starting to get back in the groove of making some more videos. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually working on mounting a rear view mirror. And so I have the premium headliner uh, or the premium roof kit, which includes the headliner. I've pulled that down. You can see the back side of uh, my bolt lights I have for an overhead light and the wiring. Uh, when I originally put this in, I did not put a disconnect on here. Um, and of course, realistically, I wouldn't be removing this that often, but, um, but now that, um, that I'm putting this in, I do want to put some disconnect, uh, or a disconnect here. And I'm just going to use just a really simple spade connector, nothing fancy, um, it, so that I can actually pull the headliner out. Uh, and then my plan for the rear view mirror is I actually have, uh, it's right here. I actually have just a standard automotive rear view. Uh, this came out of an old Nissan I, I had a few years back, and um, there's nothing wrong with it. But what I'm thinking of doing is basically I want to try to find a way to mount this up here. And, of course, it's pointed wacky right now. But um, if I can mount it up here, um, one option is to, is to mount it up here on the plastic and then just cut a hole in the felt down here so it can come through. Um, there's a couple of different options there. I'm thinking about maybe just a, a simple hose clamp up here and then finding a way to mount the hose clamp to this. Uh, one option would be to, to drill through this um, and another option would be to get the receiver piece that would normally be on the glass and drill through that, mount that to the hose clamp and then this can just snap onto it. That way it would make for an easy, easy on, easy off. I haven't yet decided. Uh, I'm still experimenting with it and um, still just kind of getting back in the groove here. Uh, my travel schedule has been really, really busy. You can see it's uh, just about July 4th. Went out and did uh, some shopping this morning uh, with my friend Lawson. And um, anyway, we'll get back on the trail soon, I hope. Uh, my travel schedule has been really, really crazy and I've been really busy and just have not had time. Um, I've been on multi-week trips, plus uh, just nasty weather, family obligations and so on. And I know what you're saying, excuses, excuses, and you're right uh, to a certain degree, uh, but uh, we all have, uh, have families and know what it's like to have those obligations. But anyway, we'll be back in, uh, in just a bit with some additional follow-on on getting this mounted. And um, then another project that we've got is wiring in these additional lights that I had. That's coming up. I've decided that these front lights, I'm gonna wire into my rock light switch because I don't really have that much on that switch. And then the rear lights that I put on the top, I'm going to just wire those in together uh, with these that I have up here. Cause again, that's the only thing on that switch too. So not that much, shouldn't really um, be a big deal, I hope. But that's where we stand right now. Stay tuned for more. We will have more coming up. And uh, I do appreciate all the comments I continue to get on the videos. And uh, hope you really like them. Thanks. Hey, guys. Uh, we're in the garage. I am about to wrap up doing the install of my rear view mirror. And just to kind of show you what I've done. So I took, I get this to focus, I took my... Um, my old uh, Nissan rearview mirror, and I basically just drilled a hole in it, and um, it did have a little spring on the back. I, I took that out and then just drilled the hole, and and it's off center just because of the um, that that kind of vein there, or support, whatever. What I'm going to do is I took the the headliner out, which I did yesterday, and there are a couple of of holes up here. There's uh, one there and one there. I to be honest, I don't know what they're actually designed for but um, I'm gonna take a screw and basically just mount through here I'm gonna use a, um, a, a fender washer I take that put it on the back here um, mount that put a little bit of Loctite on it get it nice and tight but not too tight since this is plastic um, and then when I put the headliner back in probably the easiest thing to do is just gonna be to, to cut a slit in it so it'll just slide over the post but um, I did I did hold it up and um, even though it's, it's mounted basically um, horizontal there 
Uh, I don't know if you can easily see, but um, the camera is right about where my head would be and it, it aims perfectly towards the back. So this should work out really nice to give me rear view mirror that won't get mucked up with mud um, like, the, like the side mirrors do. So anyway, that's what I'm working on right now. I'll check in once I get it installed and uh, tightened down. And then after that, I'm gonna do the wiring on uh, those front lights and the back lights, get those in and um, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, mirror is done. So you can see I uh, got it bolted up there and uh, it's nice and sturdy. I mean, it's gonna have a little bit of vibration to it, a little bit of shake, um, but uh, I'm not real worried about that. That's, that's minor stuff. Um, but uh, it'd just be nice to have uh, when you're looking behind you, looking for um, you know folks that are riding with you or if there's anyone that uh, wants to pass on the trail. Um, and then also too, I do periodically pull a trailer with this, um, just moving some equipment around. So having that on here as well as the side mirrors just helps out. But that's all done. Uh, now I'm gonna get in and uh, tackle the, uh, the wiring and uh, get that buttoned up and uh, we'll be done for this project.